Here's something about giant gold digging ants as reported by Herodotus that might actually be true. Well, sort of. So, you might have heard of Herodotus. He was a Greek historian in the 5th century BC and he wrote an account, he wrote histories and it had all these kind of tales and stories about other parts of the known world and even beyond the known world as it were. And some of these have been mocked because the stories sound a bit absurd. But one of them might have a kernel of the truth in it. It involved, as I mentioned, giant gold digging ants. And these gold digging ants were said to have lived in India, or as the Greeks understood it, that part of the world. And the idea was these were just a bit smaller than a dog, larger than a fox. And as they dug underground, the soil and the spoil that they'd had from the tunnels was full of gold dust and the locals would collect it. So how then was any of this true? Well, it's been argued that this all comes down through a mistranslation. Now, apparently, there is an animal in that part of the world that does dig underground, that does burrow, and in its spoil from some of the, the ground, some of the soil, there is gold dust found in the, in the mounds and heaps above the tunnels it digs. But it's not an ant. It's a marmot, which is a small furry animal. And Michel Pissel, who was an academic and ethnologist, argued that Herodotus had basically heard these words because this was a reported account to him, he didn't see it, and he just mistaken one for the other. And so where he should have had marmot or something similar to that, he instead put down mountain ant, hence the large mountain ants. So there we go. There's always a kernel of truth somewhere, and Herodotus can be a very good source. So don't always write him off, even if it does sound fantastic.